All right, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna talk about dictionary methods. So Python has a set of built-in methods that you can use on dictionaries. So the first method we're gonna talk about is the clear method, which removes all the elements from the list. Copy method returns a copy of the list. From keys returns a dictionary with a speci specified keys and value. Get method returns the value of a specified key. Items uh, method returns a list containing a tuple for each key value pair. Keys method returns a list containing the dictionary's keys. Pop method returns, removes the elements at the specified position. Pop item removes the last inserted key value pair. Set default returns the value of the specified key. If the key does not exist, insert the key with a specified value. Update method updates the dictionary with the specified key value pairs. And values method returns a list of all the values in the dictionary. So with that, let's dive into our notebook and take a look at all these different dictionary methods, okay? Okay, so we're back in our notebook. So let's remove all the elements from our family list, okay? So what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna go and we're gonna add that in here. So we'll do myfamily.clear, okay? And then we'll print it. And let's see what happens there. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll run this. Okay, and you get nothing in return, right? So that's the clear method. So I'll comment that out. And then let's look at the next method that we can use to return a copy of the dictionary, which would be the copy method. Okay, so for this, let's copy the family dictionary, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do x equals myfamily.copy method, right? We'll run this, and what do I get? I get a copy, right? So we'll comment that out, okay? And then let's look at the next method, which is the from keys method. So create a dictionary with three keys, all with a value of zero, okay? So the from keys method returns a dictionary with a specified keys and specified value. So with this one, we're gonna use, we're gonna write this out from scratch down here. So I'm gonna do x equals, and we'll do key one, comma, key two, and then key three. Okay, and then y will equal zero, Okay, and then we're gonna do family, my family equals dictionary dot from keys x comma y and then our dictionary. So print our dictionary, I believe is what we were using. I have to check up here just to make sure. Yes, it was our dictionary right here, so I'm gonna bring that in. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna use that. So our dictionary. And then let's run that and see what happens. Okay, so we got key zero, key one is zero, key two is zero, and key three is zero. So we gave that the value of zero, okay, for each one. The next method I wanna talk about is the get method. So get the value of we can get the value of the model here, right? So if I just go in here and I highlight this, and I copy it and we bring it down here, I can get the model item, okay? So we can go and we can do x equals our dictionary dot get and then model, okay? And then we can print x and run that and you get iMac, okay? Because that's the model. Then we have the items method. So return the dictionary's key value pairs. Okay, so this will return both pairs. So if I just do it here, and we'll just comment this out, okay? And I'll do it right here. X equals car.items, okay? And we'll run that. And what happens? 
Okay, it throws an error, and that's because car is not defined because we're not doing car, we're doing our dictionary. Wrote the wrong thing here, so let's run that again. And there you go. So now we have the key value pairs. So you have company and Apple, model and iMac, year in 2020. Okay, then we're going to talk about the keys method. So with this, the keys method returns a view object. The view object contains the keys of the dictionary as a list. Okay, so if I just run the same thing here, and we'll comment this out. Okay, and we'll do x equals our dictionary dot keys method, right? Run that. And we have dictionary keys, company, model, and year. Okay. And then the next method I want to talk about is the pop method. So the pop method will remove the model from the dictionary. Okay. So if I just go here and I do the pop method, okay. So we do uh, our dictionary dot pop. And then we choose which version we want. So model, right? If I run that, it will remove model from the dictionary. Okay. If I did this correctly, let's see our dictionary dot pop model. Okay. And then we're going to print our dictionary instead of X because we had that from the previous code. So when I run that, okay, now it takes out model. Right. Then the next method we want to talk about is the pop item. So the pop item will remove the last item from the dictionary. So for this example, what I want to do is I want to go in and I want to change out a couple things. So I'll comment out this code. Okay. And then I'll work right below it here and we'll do our dictionary dot pop item. Okay. And then we'll print our dictionary. And then what will happen is it'll take out the last item from the dictionary. So for this example, we we'll take out year in 2020. Okay. So the next method we want to talk about is the set default method. So get the value of the model item. So with this, again, we can just comment this out. And then what we can do is we can write out x equals our dictionary dot set default model. And we're going to do iMac. So we'll do comma and then iMac. Okay. And then when I run this, what's going to happen? Okay. So it will return the value of the item with the specified key. Okay. Let's look at the next method. So with this method, we're going to do the update method. So insert an item to the dictionary. So what we can do is we can add an item to the dictionary. So what we'll do is we'll comment this out. Okay. And then below this, what I can do is we can do our dictionary dot update. And then we'll do curly braces inside of there with quotes and we'll do color outside of the brackets there or the quotes, I should say, then we'll do blue. Okay. Now this is going to be added to our dictionary. So now we have the color blue added. Okay. The final method I want to talk about is the values method. So we can return the values. Okay. The values method returns a view object. The view object contains the values of the dictionary as a list. Okay. So this will show us all the values in our dictionary. So for this, what I want to do is comment this out. If it lets me, there we go. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to do this. We'll do X equals our dictionary dot values method, right? Then we're going to print our dictionary. I'll run that. And then it's going to show all the values. Okay. So it'll print everything out. Beautiful. All right. So that is how you work with the uh, dictionaries, dictionary methods. Okay. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.